a few people were asking me about uh, uh, off-camera high-speed sync. Like, say I wanted to stick this on a light stand on my one of my little uh, umbrella adapters and stick an umbrella through the little swivel adapter, which sits on the light stand and have an umbrella pointing up here. It's like, how am I going to do high-speed sync with this unit? This does not do, it, even if you have two units, it's not going to do wireless or even optical wireless high-speed sync. I so, said, well, and I've showed people the answer to it. They go, oh, that's old school. And I said, really? You know, if there's only one damn option, it's not old school. It is the only school. Uh, yeah, I had someone really stupidly saying that to me. I was like, well, how are you going to do high-speed sync with that Fujifilm Speedlight? I said, why are you praising it? I said, it works excellently. I said, well, how are you going to do... Um, uh, there's no indication, too, that when Nissan updates the firmware, and I've asked them this, specifically the head honchos, there's no indication that uh, wireless high-speed sync is going to work with the Nissan i60. Okay, TTL will and manual will. Uh, excuse me, well, I mean, TTL uh, will and uh, regular uh, wired um, high-speed sync will work with the i60A once they update that firmware, but there's no indication at all uh, from what I've asked, that uh, high-speed sync wireless, and there's a reason for that too, the communication uh, between the two. There may be, but there's no indication that there is. So this is the answer, and uh, it's the same answer that's been the answer now for a very long time. This is a 33-foot TTL cable. Fuji uses a Canon, this cable is a Velo cable, it's uh, 47 bucks. I got a couple of these. You stick your uh, you stick your uh, speed light here, and this would screw on to either a. Uh, uh, you could use like a little miniature uh, softbox with this on a tripod. This is a little uh, tripod uh, screw hole right here in the base that fits on uh, the base of your speed light. You string this as far as you want. I mean, if you can't do it with 34 feet, then you freaking can't do it. Pop it on there. Fuji uses a Canon pin out. By pin out, I mean the pin configuration that uh, connects right here. See the pin configuration? Kind of like, you know, the slots on a key for your door. Uses a Canon pin out. And that's what this is. This is a Canon 33-foot Velo TTL cable. Couple of these. Simple. Simplicity is divinity, you know? You're going to do a shoot. So what? I'm going to stick this on... Uh, a tripod with a softbox on it, or I'm going to stick this on an umbrella swivel. Let me show you an umbrella swivel. Let me reach over here and stick my fat butt in the air and show you an umbrella swivel. Here we go. It is. I should have grabbed that before I stuck my butt in front of the camera, right? It's like, I saw your butt. Good. And here's an umbrella swivel. Your speed light goes there. Your umbrella rod goes there. This goes on the top of a light stand. This is a mini light stand. So it's that simple. It's that simple. <laughs> I, that way I've got total off-camera, high-speed sync capability. Well, it's a big old cable. That's like old school. It's not old school. It was the only way to get, you know, me here, my subject over here, my, my, uh, my umbrella or softbox, whatever the hell I want with the speed light over here, and do one eight thousandth of a second, four thousandth of a second, High-speed sync flash photography, that's my options. Other people go, no, oh, you got a cactus. You could use the cactus. Are you kidding me? That is inconsistent. It's unreliable. And hell no to the cactus. Have you ever seen the rating system on the cactus? No. No. Absolutely not. Nor am I going to be able to do reliable flash uh, compensation with it. Do you know what it takes to do flash comp, wireless, high-speed sync? People don't know. They just think like high-speed sync is just something magic you say. They know what it does, but they don't know what it takes to make it happen. It is very controlled timed lighting. And then you add another layer of complexity onto that, a flash comp. Okay. Anyway. You can get these for like 7 bucks off of eBay. Get a full-size full light stand. This is a miniature light stand. Basically, miniature light stands are for down low or basically for background illumination. I got plenty of regular size light stands here behind me. So this is the option. Uh, and uh, by the way, what you could do as far as lighting uh, with high speed sync uh, off camera with an umbrella or like a soft box, you could do some really magical stuff. Magical. Outdoor, sun behind someone's shoulder, you know, open up to 2.8, stop it down to 1 8,000th of a second, pop in some flash, bam. Exposed for your ambient illumination, you raise your uh, 
your flash illumination to whatever le level that you see fit to uh, to uh, compress the dynamic range between your background or your ambient and uh, your subject illumination. It's just simple. Yeah, there's a couple knuckleheads were saying I was old school for using this. I was like, how else are you going to do it, damn it? Oh, they had to think about that. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you know, it, you know. Yeah, because even if I have two of these, and I got a second one of these on order, by the way, optical communication between the two of these does not allow high-speed sync capability. In other words, you can't tell the other one over there in the corner, hey, do high-speed sync. <laughs> it doesn't work optically. High-speed sync is very timed pulsed lighting following the moving slit of the front and rear curtain of your focal plane shutter. Okay. Not electronic shutter, the actual shutter, shutter, shutter. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions on speed lights, studio strobes, lighting. Um, lighting confuses and scares people more than anything else in photography. They're like, oh my god, it's so hard figuring out my camera. Now i got to figure out these damn speed lights and T1 time and rear curtain sync, front curtain sync. What's the difference between manual, auto FP, um, automatic, manual, you know. It does, it's not that bad. But everything in photography is lighting, you know? You got to do a lot more than just what your camera could do. Because that ends up, even with an awesome camera lens, that just ends up being a snapshot photography. It's like, well, my God, I'm using a real expensive camera lens, but my shots still look like snapshots. I'm like, yeah, because we're missing this stuff. Lighting! That would behoove you to possibly investigate and study lighting more. Because everything is about lighting. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like this video, drop a buck or two. Tell me, jump off a cliff or go drink a soda pop or, you know, suck your thumb or whatever makes you happy. Stuff like that. Try to be helpful. Try to be nice. <laughs> He's crazy. I don't like him. <laughs> I hear that every day. Um, yeah, well, the year is almost over with, so next will be 2017. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Uvidimcia, dosvidania, paka. Bye.